For today's game review we're returning to Japan and the PC Engine. The game we're going to look at today is a platform game that goes by the name of Dragon Egg. Let's have a look at the facts for this game. Dragon Egg was released in 1991 in Japan. Published by Messiah and developed by NCS, although those two names could be a little bit interchangeable. I couldn't quite work out which was which. Price I paid was £12.80. The current going rate on eBay is around about £20 plus. Occasionally you'll see the game for a little bit less than £20, but it does seem to go for £20 to £25 for the most part. So that's it about the game. I don't have much more to say, so let's get on and play it. There's the hook card then, which has got the front cover artwork, which we'll take a look at in more detail now. There's the front cover. Pretty nice image of the heroine riding on the back of her dragon. And as you can see, most of the text is in Japanese. It does say egg in English for some reason. So a quick flick through the booklet, which again is almost entirely Japanese language, so not a lot for me to describe, but there's two pages filled to the brim with Japanese text there. There's then some uh, more graphical sections here. You can see here that you uh, control the heroine who uh, with the aid of power-ups can gradually power up the dragon to be a full-size dragon, as you can see there. It then tells you how to use the control pad, which by the way is identical to the one I've actually got. And um, there's some information about the title screen I think there, and the first level. You'll see some of these uh, graphics again in the game itself. Um, that's the information screen, the status screen. Uh, that's the shop, which you'll see in game. That's the uh, details of the different things you can buy from the shop. Uh, most of which I understand from playing the game, and there's a few there that I don't. And finally, there's a rundown of the first two stages and also some of the enemies that you'll face within the game. Various evil looking things like skeletons with swords, evil looking creatures with bows and arrows, a big guy with a boomerang, a flying lizardy thing and a big ogre with a club. And on the back cover, just to finish things off, is an advert for another game and I've got no idea what that is. Well, here we have the sort of introduction to the game with a few static screens being displayed. As you can see there's a dragon on that one. Lots of Japanese text scrolling up the screen which I can't read but I can pretty much tell you the plot nonetheless. I can pretty much tell you that um, some dragons existed in the world and some people and uh, it looks like they're all pretty happy together. Bit of fighting going on there. And then something bad happened. This guy came along and stole something or took over the land or something unpleasant like that. Looks like he killed most of the dragons actually based on that picture. Uh, but not quite all of the dragons because the protagonist of this game is a little girl whose old grandfather or father gives her a dragon egg, hence the name of the game. There he is with his egg. And the little girl gets the egg, looks a little bit stunned by it all. And I don't really know what's going on in this bit. That looks like a pair of glasses. Random. Anyway, so she takes the egg in a backpack and heads off to complete the quest, whatever that quest might be. And uh, we go to the main title screen, which has got the Dragon Egg logo, a couple of options there, start and config, copyright information, a nice sort of scrolling world in the background that looks very pretty and colourful. So just go to the config quickly and all it is is a choice of easy, normal or hard level, so we'll stick with normal and let's get on with the game. So there's a little overworld map which just shows you going from one level to the next. No control over that, you just move from one to the next as you play. And the game starts, and you're the little girl with the 
egg in the backpack which she uses as a weapon which seems not a very clever thing to do with an egg because it might break uh, but nonetheless that's what she does so you use the egg to hit these skeleton things on this first level which are pretty easy to get rid of uh, that was a power up in fact that's two power ups that give me the dragon to the second level straight away that usually takes a while so as you can see the dragon's now hatched out of the egg and when you press the fire button now he sort of flirts over and blows a little ball of flame Oh, I'm really getting the dragon power-ups well here. So pretty straightforward side-scrolling platformer. Kind of reminiscent, I think, of uh, Wonder Boy in Monsterland. And I'll show you why I think that more so in a moment. Just get rid of all these baddies. Uh, if you go into this little building here, it's no surprise to find that it's a shop. Uh, run by a mole and um, so you've got some options for buying things in the shop I've picked up 15 gold pieces so what I'm going to do is get um, extra life which is extra energy to be more precise and also pick up uh, some cure which allows me to recover some health uh, on the sort of status screen which I'll get to in a minute so I'll pick up those two things can't afford anything else so away we go and scroll away to the end of the level, very short first level. So now I'm on the second level, or should I say the second part of the first level, and again it just scrolls from left to right as most of the levels do. So you just carry on moving along, pretty straightforward stuff at the moment. Just, uh, oh hi, I've got another dragon power up there. So it's already I'm up to like level two of my dragon this has never happened when I've played it before so now as you can see the dragon fires little bullets across the screen which makes playing it a little bit easier still some uh, collapsing platforms to make your way over there and that's another stage completed again pretty straightforward so far And there's two more dragon power-ups, which means I'm almost up to full dragon already, which is quite astonishing, really. And if I could get that, that would give me the full dragon, I think. I'm not sure I can reach that safely, though. So I won't, I won't do that. So, as you can see, now we've got a bit of upwards movement as well as... ...the... Uh, left to right kind of stuff, oh forgot about that, collapsing platform, typical sort of things that you'd expect to see in a side scrolling platformer, very cute graphics, nice graphics on the dragon in particular, another shop here so I'll just go in there and see what else I can afford now, basically nothing except for more cure, I'll just pick a couple of those up while I'm there, as you can see this one's run by a kangaroo with a, what looks like an inverted cross burned into its forehead. I'm possibly uh, misinterpreting that slightly. So I'll just make my way across this stage. I don't know how I'm going to get this thing now. That seems impossible to manage. So one more fireball and I think I would have a full strength dragon. I'm just going to show you the status screen at this point. Uh, as you can see, it tells you the level of growth of the dragon. You've got your health at the top right corner there, cures which you can use, and there's also other items you can pick up, and it tells you how much gold you've got. So I'm just going to deploy all those cures there to get my health up to full strength, as it is at the moment at least. And then make my way... There's some annoying blind jumps there. So yeah, make my way across the rest of this stage, which given the level of my dragon shouldn't take too long. And there you go, I'm now full length dragon, full size dragon I should say. And uh, what you'll see now, if I can get it right, is you can actually make the dragon fly a little bit. Doesn't seem to be doing it that well at the moment, but maybe it depends on the stage you're on, but anyway. I'll move on. I 
Uh, so this, I think, if I remember right, is the end of the first stage. And of course, what you get at the end of a stage is a baddie, which with this dragon should be fairly easy to get rid of. I've never been in this scenario before. This thing, oh, maybe not though. Oh yeah, I've forgotten what you have to do. You have to hit him from behind. Now he's fairly easy to get rid of. So he basically throws this boomerang at you, which you can try and avoid. I'm doing a terrible job of right now. And then you just have to hit him from behind over and over again. Just avoid the boomerang. Hopefully this should get him this time. There you go, he's dead. Pretty easy to get rid of. And at the end of each stage, when you finish off the end of level bad guy, you get to pick up a bonus item. Which, uh, I think I've got the cure there. Would have been nice to get the extra life, but never mind. Mustn't grumble. And on we move to the second level. As you can see, it's pretty easy so far. Another colourful stage, this time we've got some uh, rivers of what well, I can only describe as red water really, or pink water. Um, and they have to be avoided otherwise they do damage to you, like that. You've got some baddies flying at you from up above. But again, this is becoming quite easy. Uh, famous last words with having the full strength dragon makes it quite easy to negotiate those stages if you're not at full strength you'd have to jump from left to right left to right up the screen but because I've already got a full strength dragon it makes it fairly easy still do my best to lose a few, bit of health though So now I'm inside some kind of castle, very Mario-esque looking castle and, and the music on this set of stages, this second level is quite annoying, um, supposed to be sinister I suppose but just irritating in all honesty. There's a useful cure as well. So what's already a fairly easy game has been made even easier by the fact that I've got a full strength dragon before even completing the first level. So I've just got to make my way through the levels as quickly as possible. Gathering all the coins as I go. Oops. These uh, big ogres remind me of ghosts and goblins. Otherwise, it's mostly, well, it's fat, including that, it's mostly very generic platformer style enemies and platforms and uh, scenery. So I'm making my way through the next part of this stage, which involves shooting a lot more of these ogres, which are very easy to get rid of when. You've got the full strength dragon once again. Missed something there, not sure what that is. Oh, it's another another heart, so now my energy's gone up to four hearts. That was marginally surprising, I wasn't expecting there to be two of them there. Not that surprising though. There's some bits here where the things are going to fall down, just try and avoid them. A very technological looking area for like a fancy thing and someone um, for some reason has set up a shop right in the middle of this castle so uh, what I need more than anything else right now is some cures so I'll get as many of them as I can uh, I can also power up various things here so I'm gonna add 
that, which I don't even know what it is exactly, but let's power that up. In fact, let's power it up twice. And also can power up the dragon, it seems, as well. So let's do that. May as well max everything out as much as I can. Let's see what that does for me. Okay, so now I've got a triple shot on the dragon. And let's just uh, power up all those cures as well. You can see there's an item in use there at the bottom there. That's the power up that I just powered myself up with, funnily enough. I wonder if I can now go back to the shop and get some more cures. Yes, I can. Handy. Okay, lots of cures now, which means I can max myself out power-wise or energy-wise. There we go, full energy with some extra stuff to spare as well. Let's now make our way to the top of this stage and see what we get up here. Well, more cure, which is a bit of a waste right now. Not a point picking that up at the moment. So here we've got some kind of mechanism um, which has lasers that it fires at you. Get me, try and get me timing right so I don't keep getting shot. Let's got rid of it I think. Unless there's one this side as well, no. There is one that side but it's already gone. Can I go back there and get that cure now? No I can't. I lost a little bit of health there so continue on to what's probably getting towards the end of the level now. Okay, so here's level 2's boss, which compared to level 1's boss is a little bit unspectacular looking. It's um, some kind of like little bouncy thing with a dome on its head, which separates into two every time it gets shot. Well, because I've got the three-way fire on the dragon, it's incredibly easy to get rid of. There you go, it's gone already. With absolutely no danger. So there's another chance to pick up another power up here. What did I get? Uh, the skull power up, whatever that does. And that's level two completed. So on we go to level three. Which mostly offers more of the same platforming action. Another slightly jarring tune in the background. And there's these weird blobby things, which I'll get a little bit close to, see if you can see what you can see the one above what it's trying to do kind of gets a hand coming out of it, but hopefully it's quite difficult to get rid of actually. You have to watch out when they explode because uh, what they leave behind can hurt you as well. So it's just a case now of negotiating this level, which looks like a bit more climbing, a few platforms. Oops. Oh, I'm just killing myself off there completely. Let's uh, top up the health again. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, that's annoying. This is one of those annoying levels. Oh, there's a shop there. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Let's try again. Oh, I can avoid that, that's useful. So let's try this shot. Stock up on a bit more health. Power up the dragon a bit more. And make my way further up this level. So I'm slowly making my way to the top of this stage. And the main thing is that I've got now from the latest power up is that the uh, dragon now fires three flames but in various kind of directions they kind of home in sometimes like that I'm still having the same problems getting to the top of this stage this is by far the trickiest stage so far oh. Oh, 
not this close as well. Right, finally got to the top of this stage. Why was that? Oh, I missed the exit. Bit of bad collision detection there. And then we move to the next stage, which is by far the most annoying stage in the whole game. It's basically a maze. You go through these doors, you've got to try and work your way through this maze uh, and get to the end of it. I do try and do that as quickly as possible. Just stock up on some of those cures again, and away we go. This is a timing thing. Actually, the only thing that gets any collision detection is your little girl sitting on the back of the dragon. So you can stand like that quite happily and then just nip through. Sometimes I manage it, sometimes I don't. Oh, that was a long fall. I don't think I really wanted to do that. I've got no idea where I'm going now, so you'll have to bear with me in a moment. Let's try this one. Okay. Oh. I think I might be lost. I really do feel like I've been here before. This is not going particularly well with the uh, with the maze at the moment. I've only got a very small amount of health left now as well. I don't seem to be able to find my way out of this. This looks like it. No, I've been there as well. Yeah, I'm definitely lost in this maze. Is this new? No, that's. I truly have no clue whether I've been here before or not now. I'm quite possibly going around in circles. This all looks incredibly familiar but I can't really work out how to get out of it. Okay, I've definitely been here before. Well have I? No, maybe not actually. Oh, I'm losing a lot of health there, no, I've, I don't know. I might be going back to where I started, or I might be on the right track now. Oh, this is interesting, I don't remember this. Right, I could, could be on the right track here, but I've got virtually no health left. One more hit and I'm done for, there we go, I'm dead. And the annoying thing when you die is, you're right back to the beginning and You've got no power-ups at all. Very frustrating. Okay, I think I've found the way out. I think it's at the top of this section here, but I'm not sure whether I'm actually going to be able to make it with the two hearts I've got left, or maybe it's not too bad, actually. Just a case of patience to get to the top of here. I'm hoping this gets me somewhere useful. I'm not sure it has though. Oh, here we go, the exit. Thank God for that. Unfortunately, I'm now facing the end of level boss with no fully powered dragon, and it's just me. Uh, and I don't know how to get rid of this guy. Not like that though, it seems. I have no clue. I know I'm dead. I think you have to hit this tail that's like swinging around. <clears throat> this is not going well at all. I have no idea why you're supposed to hit it. It doesn't seem to have any vulnerable areas at all. Right, it is on the tail thing at the top, but how on earth are you supposed to get to that? There goes another life, and that's game over, I think. I'll try one continue, but I'm rapidly losing patience with this. 
have got a lot further in the game with a fully powered up dragon but this is just going really badly and it's not that great a game to be bothered about playing it through to the end in all honesty every time I get close to it it's gonna hit me and I can't get away from that oh okay Yeah, this is not going well. <clears throat> and there I go, so another life. I don't understand how you can avoid this thing. When you've got a fully powered up dragon, this thing takes about five seconds to get rid of. But as soon as it changes direction, you've got no chance. Ah, okay. That's kind of some kind of progress. Oh, there we go. I think I got him. No, I haven't. No, there goes another life. I, I just don't know how this is possible to defeat this enemy. One more life, and then I'm giving up. I've obviously got to tempt it towards you somehow. There's just no way. There's just no way to clear that without it hitting you. Oh, come on. Forget it. That's game over. I've had enough. Basically, it's not a very good game. With when you've got a fully powered up dragon, it's pretty easy. And I got to the final boss of the game, uh, and without one, it seems to be impossible to get past that. I can't work out how you can get past that big blobby brainy thing without losing some of your health. So that's Dragon Egg. Not that great a game. Probably not going to keep that one. Nice graphics, annoying sound, simplistic gameplay and really not much great to speak of. If you only need the power of the dark side. Two, one, zero.